All right, traders are live. Sean Kozak checking in again with NSTA. And don't forget, we create winning traders. In today's trade room recap, I want to express how the bulls were crushing the markets. I just want to share with you a little bit about what took place in the trade room this morning because it was absolutely fantastic. We had back-to-back -back wins. I took 17 points out of the NASDAQ. I took four points out of the ES. I missed the trade of the day, which was the Russell. It just shot up and we had the setup. We had the rules. I was just looking at the other markets trade and other markets, right? And that's the thing, you can't catch them all. But today was an amazing opportunity where we shared how to use order flow and momentum to time the, the, mo the market profile levels. And that's exactly what we do. We trade institutional levels using market and volume profile, and we use trade management day trading timeframes to reduce our risk and to scalp order flow and momentum. So let's jump onto the charts, keep it short and sweet and everything neat, and let's help you become a profitable trader. Take care, traders. See you on the charts. All right, traders. I'm going to be very quick with today's recap on the charts because we actually filmed the footage from the live trading room, and I'd rather you watch the live trades as they happened rather than me just cover them in a recap. So you can see here that uh, took $500 out of the market trading, very small size. I'm not here to try to show you $20,000 profits on one or two trades because you know nobody's really there yet. If you were trading 10s and 20 contracts, Different story. Everybody starts somewhere. So if you just want to get started as a day trader, you want to learn the ropes, come in and do exactly that. Just learn how to take a profit consistently and then scale your business. Quickly, ES market down here. This was a value area, low area of interest. This is a key level for us. Okay. And what was interesting is I said to the traders, wait for the delta wait for the momentum and we'll execute when the order flow and the market is on our side. They came in, they weren't ready to put in the lows, they weren't ready, they stop hunted right here, this was a stop hunt. They came in, the delta came in right there. We got the opportunity when momentum started to gain force on our side and voila, there was our target. I don't care about all this stuff, it's not important guys, the market's not we, our job is not to be in the market all the time. Our job is not to be catching every single move. Our job is to execute and exploit a repeatable pattern that has a consistent edge that you can repeat every single day. Let's go on and take a look at the next trade. At the exact same time, I was long the NASDAQ. Same thing, took 17 points out of this market for a fantastic trade. You'll see here, we were at areas of interest all down here. These were all key levels of support as the market was coming down into them, down into them, and then boom, we got the delta. Okay, got the order flow and momentum on our side. I executed right here. Took a bit of heat. This market was the weakest market. My stop was below the lows. They lifted the offer, and I took 17 points up here. You can see that this yellow line was our target, and uh, 68 ticks. It's just shy of 17 points, maybe one or two ticks shy of 17 points, right? So really, really great trades. The trade of the day was on the Russell. I did not catch it, and the exact same time, the, uh, the market lifted on these other indices, and I just want to share with you that uh, this was the trade right here. This was the order flow bars that we have. Stop would have been below the lows, and you can see where they ripped it all the way back up to the value area highs, right? So rather than me spend all of this time on the charts, let me transition to the live trade footage, and you can watch me trade two simultaneous markets for two back-to-back -back trades. If you're interested, click the link click the link below subscribe hit the notification bell and basically just sign up for a guest pass so you can trade with us tomorrow morning take care traders and we'll see you on the charts so as i mentioned it's been a battle the nq is ripping on a structure break the es there's the delta there's the es delta guys i'm gonna go in with one contract on the es because the es let's see if i can get it here the es is coming back down a little bit If I get it. Order submitted. So I'm in with one contract. I'm going to try to get in with one contract. I pulled my entry down just a bit. Normally the entry is at the break of structure. So we can see here. Didn't get it on the fill there. Did not get the touch. Wait and see. 
why I am never Order giving. submitted. I am now long both the ES and the NASDAQ. So if they're going to lift it, the reason I'm in the ES is it's a bit stronger. It's a stronger market. So we're going to wait and see if the NQ and that can continue its rally. The ES is a stronger market. Okay, I'm going to wait to see. I went in with one contract on the ES because the uh, I'm already exposed to risk on the other market. So I'm trying not to be overexposed on leverage on two indices, right? And uh, we're going to wait and see. I waited on the delta hook with momentum. Let's wait and see if we can get the follow through. The NQ needs to rip it back up. The NQ is moving on its way, but the NQ is a weaker market. So we're going to wait and see here, guys. If the YM can lift, it'll help us. If the Russell holds its strength, it's not really Russell's on its own. So let's wait and see if the ES can lift it. Right, the ES gave us, there's the pullback into the back end of the zone. We're gonna wait and see here, guys. And uh, really I need to see if the NQ is ready to hold its strength above that structure low or structure high. So I'm not trading excessive size. I'm not trying to, uh, you know, swing for the fences and show you that I could be trading tens and 20 contracts. I don't need to do that to teach everybody how to trade for targets. To trade for targets means to understand your entry queue and then understand the reason why my target is there. The reason my target is here is because it's a serious level of resistance plus it's a value real low, it's an anchor point. I need to wait and see if they're ready to hold it above that structure. Okay, we gotta wait and see. And we need to wait and see if the ES can lift. If these other markets can lift, the YM needs to lift from here. And uh, the Russell is not on our queue right now. So let's take a look at the profiles. It's been a little bit of time on the profiles here. Okay, so I'm, I'm long the ES. And let's go in here and turn these on. I'm also long the uh, the NASDAQ, okay? And uh, we gotta wait and see if ES and the NASDAQ are gonna give me the lift. Now from a correlation perspective, I normally don't like to trade the weakest market long. I missed the opportunity in the Russell and I was looking to see if there was gonna be a better trade in one of these markets. I got it in this and I got it in this. Normally, that's aggressive. I'm long, but it's aggressive to see understand what I'm referring to okay so let's wait and see if we can get the follow-through looks like the NQ wants to lift I'm just watching two markets at the same time I'm not trying to trade for massive profit on the ES I'm in with one contract if I hit my objective on the uh, if I hit my objective on the ES I'll take a couple hundred if I hit my objective on the NASDAQ I'll I'll take 345 right and uh, if it gets close if it gets up here and I start to see a bunch of negative selling Delta coming in there I'll just exit the trade because I don't need to be giving back my profit on the weakest market and I'd rather wait to see if we get the fall through. now it's got to break through these levels and it's coming back up to test that support that resistance level so let's wait and see the NQ is looking like it wants to give it to me and uh, this would be a fantastic trade now couple questions who's in these trades with me can you guys just give me a yes if you're in these trades with me uh, just type a yes if you're trading them okay okay excellent 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 let's wait and see fantastic like to see the engagement like to see the engagement does everybody understand the setups everybody understands the setups and everybody understands the rules give me a yes it's clear we we understood it going into these trades we knew exactly what we were trying to do just give me a yes the rules are clear okay fantastic it's an excellent way to start the morning let's wait and see if the NQ can take profits we're close the NQ is close guys the NQ is getting pretty close Okay, and we're starting to get a bit extended on the NQ. We're gonna wait and see here. We're gonna wait and see what the NQ is gonna do, guys. And uh, let's wait and see. The, the ES is pushing a little strength. The ES might give us that surge we need. I might pull that target out just a bit. Gotta get the fill on that. Let's wait and see here, guys. 
Let's see if we can get the love. There's a low volume node in here. There's a low volume node in here. We gotta be careful with that. And let's see if the NASDAQ can give us that fill here. We're coming, We're coming for it. This is fun morning. Let's wait and see here. Order canceled. There we go. So I am now out of the trade on the NQ. And let's wait and see if we can take it on the ES. ES hit the low volume node. Look what I just said. ES hit the low volume node. We need to wait and see if we can get out of that trade for a profit. Okay. Let's wait and see if we can get out of that trade for a profit. You can see how it rejected from that low volume node, didn't we? We got on the other side of it. Okay. We got on the other side of it. So we're going to wait and see now. Who took profits on the NQ? Can you guys give me a yes? Who took profits on the NQ? You did? Excellent. The amount is not important to me. The amount of money that you made is not important to me. The fact that you took a target is important to me. Yeah. The fact that you learn how to take ticks out of the market is all that matters to me right now because the purpose of the trading room is to teach you to be able to trade for a profit and to be able to be able to get in and get out objectively. Okay. So uh, let's take a look at the break even here and uh, let's wait and see if we can, let's wait and see if they're gonna get through that low volume node. We're, we're having a battle here at this low volume node. We're having a battle at that low volume. Okay, we need to wait and see. See how we're starting to see some negative deltas coming in here, guys? Okay, starting to see some negative deltas coming in here. We gotta wait and see if these other markets, let's see what the YM, the YM never did give us the trade. Okay, YM never did give us the trade. And let's take a look at the NQ. The NQ is still pushing some strength. So I'm gonna be patient with the ES. If the NQ is still pushing some strength like that, then I'm gonna have a little bit of belief in the ES trade to be able to clear that low volume note. Okay. And uh, we'll wait and see here. So you can tell that we're getting a reaction off that low volume pocket. And this is really, really important for me to teach you this. The reason we're getting stuck in here is because that's resistance and that's low volume in front of it. Okay. We need to wait and see. And it's, I'm going to be paying awful close attention here. Paying awful close attention here. We need to wait and see if we get that follow through. So I'm glad you guys are enjoying the morning. It's great trading. Just need to see one more surge in here. If we can take that target, that'd be fantastic. It's a big round number up here at 29.65. So if we can clear that, might be able to bring that down to 29.65 just to, to get that target, just so that if this if the bar closes up, we can get the fill here. Okay, I'm gonna move my stop to break even here, just to protect the downside. There's no need to give back any profit to the market this morning. No need to give anything back to the market. We'll give it some time. We're already close to the target, right? Good run, good call. Got to jump. See you all tomorrow. Thanks, Eric. Have a fantastic day. So this is a delta hook trade, and uh, we just waited for the follow through uh, on momentum with the order flow. And really, it's because of the areas of interest that we paid attention to these areas to be able to see if we can take profits. And uh, we came real close there. We're coming close to target. We're coming close to target. And. Uh, Looking forward to it. Let's see if we can get it. Give me one more tick. Give me one more tick, Mr. Market. That's all we need. One more tick. There it is. Didn't get the fill. Give me one more tick through the area, and we should be able to get the Order fill. Order canceled. Perfect. Target of hit. Two trades back to back. Simultaneous trading on the indices. Couldn't ask for a better trade. Better morning so far. Can you guys do me a favor and just type in how many ticks he took out of the market on that trade? That'd be fantastic on those trades. Did anybody take the ES trade? Just give me a yes if you made money on those trades. Yes, no, maybe so. I want to know how many of you guys, seven, seven ticks on the ES, Patrick said. What'd you take on? Still in the ES, you're letting it run. Fantastic. Yes, guys, just give me a yes if you learned something from those two simultaneous trades. I just want to make sure everybody's got it and uh, the NQ and the ES were the markets to trade this morning. So fantastic opportunities on those trades. The NASDAQ is still moving, right? Take a look at that and uh, 
That's the Delta Force traits, guys. We'll be spending lots of time on it. 